Hello, sir. Um... Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Lunchtime Adventures. It is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. And, and we're resuming where we left off. We're, we dug our first little mine. I went ahead and um, I think this is where we left off. Um, is this where we left off? Please tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, I think I can drop down here safely. <laughs> yeah, I put the water down there. Okay. Woo! And I also put a little water out here in case I drifted and I, I didn't want to hit and die. So, yeah, that would really suck. Um, I could, I suppose, put a magma block or, yeah, a magma block thingy down there um, and use an elevator. But, eh. I don't think I'm going to screw that up. So, famous last words, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, I uh, chiseled out the rest of the lobby. Chiseled out the rest of the lobby. Get my mouth to work. And what I haven't done is dug this out, which I wanted to do, but I wanted to actually save my shovel. So I'll use the old torch uh, method and try to do it that way. And remember that I'm not on the Mort server, so I don't have to add compensation for uh, uh, packet loss. <laughs> Uh, which, of course, as soon as I laughed about that, I screwed up that one. Um, get this thing all cleared out. See what's underneath here. I want to kind of do a little bit of exploratories because I want some diamonds. I really do. That's kind of the next big thing I need to get is some diamonds. Um, I can continue to go hunt for coal and level up my toolsmith and get a diamond pickaxe and do it that way if I really wanted to. But um, I'd also really rather to try to get some real diamonds, you know? And... Um, like I said last time, uh, once we get started here on the uh, on the uh, shafts, you know, the whole drilling out and exploring, um, I'll speed that part up and just come, you know, resume normal speed when I find. Why did I put the forge there? <laughs> resume normal speed when I find something interesting, uh, so you guys don't have to be bored by it. But I did want to say hello first, and uh, also see if we had any kind of a question of the week. It's really, you know, we, I do a podcast, tuning into Sci-Fi TV. Um, you may know about it, you may not. Uh, it depends on how you found this video or why you're watching me. Uh, but in that podcast, we have this thing called the Tuner Minute, where every week, theoretically every week, sometimes we skip weeks, but every week we, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a torch there. <laughs> kind of dark. Every week we ask, uh, well, we, we don't always ask a question. We may make a statement or an observation about um, genre, television by genre, I mean science fiction, fantasy, horror, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, the genres, um, the more geeky genres. And uh, we would ask a question or we would make an observation or something. So every every time we record the podcast, the, the three of us who host the thing, we'd be like, does is, is somebody have a tuner minute? Do you have a tuner minute? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a tuner minute. How about you? And usually what it comes down to, <laughs> often what it comes down to is um, nobody has one and I have to just come up with one. And it feels the same way here. Uh, with this question of the, of the day, uh, where I keep uh, having to come up with a question. Um, and like I said last time, uh, in the last episode, I'm not sure I'm going to keep doing that, because I don't know that I can. Maybe, it's just if I if I think of something, I'll ask it. But if I don't, if I go through the episode without asking a question, guys, um, you know, don't hold it against me. I, I, just, uh, I just couldn't think of anything, so... Anyway, I'm going to keep digging and branch out, do these little branch mines, which is, you know, go that way. You know, some people, if I bring up my chunk barriers, which is F3G, you can see the chunk barriers here, the chunk borders. Uh, some people go a certain number of chunks, um, and that's, you know, for world performance and stuff and, and things of that nature. And uh, I don't know that I will. Uh, I tend to just go as far as, as rationally possible. But either when I hit something, I'll kind of stop and explore or, or mark it as a stopping point. And by something, I mean like a cave or a cavern or something. Uh, or an abandoned mine shaft or something. Or when I fill this stuff up or when I run out of all my tools, uh, I just dig. And then I come back and then I go two over and dig parallel to it. And the reason we do that is that um, anything on this, in this block all the way down there, I would have seen exposed. And anything on this section of block all the way down, I'd see exposed when I dig down here, so I don't need to dig these two out in the middle, theoretically. Now, there could be stuff up above that I'll never see, uh, and we get away with that by doing, by digging up, 
And the thing is, we'll dig up every other one because that just increases our odds. You know, it's kind of a a, a B tree search engine. I'm a software engineer. You know, uh, B trees are when you you basically take a data set. Uh, say you got a hundred items. I'm gonna start digging while I talk to you guys about this stuff. <laughs> say you got like a hundred items in a list, and you're trying to find uh, a particular item. Um, the way you'll you'll do that is to just split it in half. Uh, do a B tree where you basically say, okay, uh, I'm going to look at the 50th item, assuming it's sorted in some sort of way, uh, you know, and you want to find, uh, it's a list of, uh, of, of names of people and you want to find, uh, Linda. And so what you do is you grab the one in the middle, the 50th one, and you say, okay, what is this name? Is it before or after Linda in the alphabet? Okay. It's after Linda. Therefore, Linda is before this. So now I have 50 or 49 things to look at to find Linda instead of 99 things to look at to find Linda. Or if it's, you know, what I found was less than Linda, then I would, it would be beyond it. Beyond it. Uh, so then you keep splitting them, right? You're left with 50 or 49 items. You split those in half and you grab the one in the middle of that and you say, is this before or is this after? So that's kind of the way we're doing mining here when we do the mine shafts up every other one, I guess. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I told a cool story, but then I realized, you know, that's not really applicable. That's okay. I, I am cutting them in halves, I guess, but not the same way as a bee, as a bee tree or uh, a search engine or something of that nature would do. It's not really a search engine. I'm using the wrong terms. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, are there any other software engineers watching my stuff? That would be a good question to have. Uh, for you guys to ask, I'm curious if there are, and if there are, you know what? How long have you been doing it? Um, what are your, you know, what are your specializations? Um, how are you? Were you educated? You don't have to say how you're educated. A lot of people don't like to talk about that kind of stuff because, believe it or not, there are a lot of software engineers, myself included, who really got started at a time. I'm kind of old, in case you couldn't tell. I uh, got started at a time when um, there was a higher demand for software engineers than there was ability to train software engineers. So a lot of us got started in the industry before we even had any kind of formal education or completed any kind of education. I'm one of those people. I started out in high school, really, uh, per professional gigs in high school, uh, or right out of high school, I should say. Yeah, no, I, I, maybe I mentioned it before, but my first actual paid gig was in high school. It was only one. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been at it for a while um, and uh, got a lot of experience. But most of my stuff's in the corporate world, uh, Microsoft stacks. Uh, I do a lot of uh, business intelligence stuff now. Uh, we do a lot of uh, C sharp uh, application development, web services, RESTful APIs, that sort of thing. So I do a lot of that junk. It's not junk. I like it. So I don't know why I put torches in these weird places. I guess it was for the. Uh, See, here's an example of where I might just stop and go back and just resume from the next one just because there's too much junk there to clean up. I don't want to clean it up. I'm going to go back. I'm going to turn off the uh, chunk. Uh, whoops. Nope. Wrong one. <laughs> the chunk borders as well. Um, just because I don't really need them. Uh, I'm going to put a torch there. Do I need the torch there? Well, I just lost one pickaxe. So if there are any other software engineers, I'd be curious, you know, what uh, what sort of thing do you work on? Are you a uh, are you, you younger kid? You're working on the uh, younger kid, you younger person. You're working on a lot of the uh, mobile apps and things. I haven't done mobile apps. I've kind of looked into them, but I've never done anything uh, on a mobile phone. Um, it's just not my what I do for a living. Uh, and the time of my life, like before I had kids and stuff, um, where I would basically Software engineering would be my hobby as well as my job is kind of long past. I don't really do a lot of software engineering as a hobby anymore. I like playing video games as a hobby <laughs> and uh, and doing podcasts and things. So. so I don't do a lot of that stuff um, that I would normally have done that would not be applicable to my job. If it's applicable to my job, right, if we, uh, if we had to write a mobile app for uh, the company I work for, then absolutely. You know, that's the kind of thing I would dive into and explore, but um, not now. Um, and if you were, if you know, like, if you're if you're active right now and you're young, you're probably doing mobile stuff. Um, if you're in your 30s, you're you probably 
you know, cut your teeth on, uh, on web apps, uh, websites. Websites and web apps were a little after my time, although I did do some. Uh, like I said, most of my stuff was traditional application development. Uh, when I started out, it was a lot of C uh, coding, uh, uh, kind of bypass C++, went to uh, Java, and uh, then to C Sharp uh, for a lot of my development. But I do, you know, done traditionally um, console, console applications, uh, APIs, systems, services, system level stuff, um, and... Uh, also, a little bit of more traditional commercial software software development. I actually worked for one company. Uh, I won't name any names, but I worked for one company, and uh, we did a, a piece of commercial software. And uh, I kind of, no, not not kind of. I was the. It was a very small company. I was the only developer of that thing. So, uh, and we put brought that to market, and we sold some copies and stuff. Uh, the company never really took off, though. So. Uh, that's that was my only dabbling in in that, which would be uh, commercial development. That's like uh, software packages that are sold in boxes, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's old school now. Nobody really sells stuff in boxes anymore. Everything's digital anyway. But Vincent did some development in uh, uh, again commercial applications, but the kinds of applications that were sold uh, for you know hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars at an enterprise level to a company, and you know you had people on staff who would oh here we go. Who would go out to to those places sites and uh, install the software for them and things? So I did I did a lot of that too. Hello, sir. Um, would like you to go back, please. Thank you. Uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing sneaking up behind me. I just want to light this place up. Don't want any more of that stuff happening. I don't want to. I don't know how far I want to go here. And I gotta also kind of pay attention. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so redstone is good. Definitely can be things spawning down here. You gotta be careful. We're down in um, diamond territory here, which is good. More redstone. I hear a zombie. Over there, I mean, the arrow tells me there's a zombie nearby. Seems to be on the other side of a wall, though. I don't want to go too far down here because I... Oh, look at that. Oh, that is that is amazing. That is, that is something I'll explore some other day. That is huge. I'm going to light it up a bit uh, just to make sure that... Uh, I need to get through here. Okay, I'll go up here. I won't get in your way. Okay, light that up a bit. Um, I would like this, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Just because I'm probably going to need a little bit at some point. I'm also going to throw another torch here, just because I'm paranoid about light. Even though 118, you know, you don't really need it, but still paranoid. Um, up there, too. Come down here. This is where my creeper exploded. Uh, I'm going to need that lapis, so I want to get it. I also don't want to die from a falling creeper or something. I need to keep my head on a swivel. I want to go light that up uh, up there. I hear that zombie again. Something could spawn up there, so I want to light that up a bit. Up there is scary as well. It's a lot of light, man. Torches. I can burn trees to make torches. Torches are free to me, so don't really care. Yeah, I'm wasting light, though. We need some gold, so that'd be good to get, too. Nothing. Yeah, something could spawn up there, so let's light up there. 
All right, this has reached an area where nothing can really get to me, so. Cool. Get this gold. That's it. There's probably, there might be more around here. Nope. No more. All right. Like I said, I don't want to get lost. I think I remember where to go. Down here. Oh, there's more of this. All right. More lapis. Didn't see it. Excellent. Uh, let's throw a torch there just because I'm paranoid. Yeah, I'm very paranoid. Here we go. This is how I get back to my mind. Awesome. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So anyway, I'm going to start digging. I'll come back But if I find something cool. I don't really need iron, but if it's right in front of me, I'll take it. Okay, well, I'm almost full up, so I think I'm going to head back up. And I don't have any soul sand, so I'm going to have to climb up the ladder to get home. It's dark in here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into the nether until I get enchanted armor. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's not going to happen. I do want to explore those that cave area that I found. I, I heard a lot of zombies. Um, maybe there's a zombie spawner. Maybe it can actually... Iron Golem hurts. Oh, yeah, my... Yeah. <laughs> That's my farm. I'm like, wait a minute. Why are they dying? I'm killing them. For their iron. Which is to be expected. All right. All right, we got a bunch of junk. Let's get rid of it all. A little bit of dirt. Could find a dirt. A couple of gravel patches. Some dirt. Uh, andesite. There's andesite. I think the rest of it's all gravel. And I'm also going to need to burn some, uh, for sure, some logs and get some more charcoal so I can get some more torches going. Uh, let's get this cobble out of here. And where did I put the gravel? Here it is. Where did I put the dripstone? That's a good question. Let's go ahead and cook this iron and gold up. I guess that was a lava bucket that went in there. Um, where do I stick this? Where have I been sticking? There it is. And I do have one of those down there, magma block, so... Theoretically, I could make a drop. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'll risk it. All right, so where are we going to put our redstone stuff? Where's our redstone? I guess this should be our redstone stuff. Currently got coal, but we don't really need the coal. Get rid of that. Don't need the ladders at the moment, so I'll drop them off. Actually, they go up here, don't they? They go up there. I do want to plant some trees. Let's go do that. Is it what time is it? Hmm, it's getting to that bedtime. Let's see if I can hit some cows up first before I do that. Hello, cows. I would like you to make babies and then um, kill yourselves. Because you're so crushed. So tight for space. That would be awesome. Very cruel. If you, if you, you know, if you like uh, cows, then don't watch. Okay, that, that, and then that, and then let's go ahead and cook that up. Uh, let's take some of this beef we can definitely use. And let's go ahead and sleep so we don't get attacked by things. I don't know how long I was down there mining, how many days, so... 
Might be phantoms. I don't really need phantoms right now. Oh, I get some warning. Like, one hit from a phantom's not going to kill me in my armor, but it wouldn't kill me out of my armor either, I don't think. But uh, still, don't really want to risk that. So, okay, yeah, let's just uh, plant a bunch of oak trees. They don't mind being crammed together. And uh, harvest the wood from those when they grow up. Not good. Good enough. Let that grow. Might as well check how much iron we've got. Because I am going to need some new tools. I might as well make some iron ones now that I'm going to be quote unquote iron rich. 16 there. 32 there. Not bad. And we still haven't found any diamonds uh, or coal to feed our um, our villager or toolsmith. So, hmm. um, where do I put the? Uh, I put them outside, but I don't want to put them outside. So let's, let's go here. Get some sticks. Uh, I do need to. Do I have? I have logs, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and cook some of that stuff up. Throw it in here. Uh, I don't really want a torch. Why was there a torch in there? That's weird. Okay, bizarre. Um, I need one more pick. And I need... Let's go ahead and grab two shovels. Might as well grab an axe, because these are going to wear out pretty soon. And I'll throw the lapis in with the redstone for now. I don't have any other real place to put it. Or do I, I, do I have some that I put over here? No. Oh, by the way, I, I got this packed ice from a uh, wandering trader. He wanted two emerald for it. And I thought, yeah, well, I might need that for a uh, an XP farm. So I might as well grab it because I don't know where there's going to be packed ice around here. We'll have to go exploring if we want to get that on our own. And we don't even have silk touch. So went ahead and bought it. That was when I was doing the AFKing around, the, around here. He just showed up. So uh, I got my tools waiting on my charcoal. Not a lot, but uh, it's a start. There's some. All right. All righty. All righty then. Wood. Timber. Gotta love timber. Oops. Gotta actually chop through that one log to enjoy the benefits of timber. And replant. Let's go ahead and harvest over here. We got so much lava now. We should probably go ahead and make a bunch of buckets. 32 buckets, probably. That's all I can actually carry at any one given time. Well, I could probably carry more than that, you know. I mean, why not? But uh, 32 sounds like a good number. And that won't give me 32, but it'll give me some. It'll give me 21. There's more there. And I think I had one over here. Yeah. And yeah, might as well throw this in there too. And I think I just emptied one here. All right. So now, fill up our buckets. We're gonna. We don't have enough room for uh, twenty-seven. We don't have twenty-seven slots here. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we'll do the sixteen, which is just one row here. Boom. And we'll go ahead and fill up the next one here for when we need it next. And then go ahead and put a bunch in here. Not too many because most of it's going to be over here, I think. Well, I'm going to need it. Have I been putting apples there? I have. Have I been putting sticks there? I have. Let's convert this or just throw this in here. I guess we need to convert it. Um, that one iron stray can be put back and now I can go fill up that 11 and put those where I might need them. Yeah, you got to do this guys. You got to do dripstone lava farm. I mean, come on. It is the cheapest renewable, most powerful fuel source. They last forever in a furnace. Well, I mean, relatively speaking. So, you got to do it. And if you got to mix that with an iron farm, you make a ton of buckets. And yeah, yeah, you, you got your made, you're set. All right. 
Now, we need diamonds. Really need diamonds. So, that's the only thing, that and the nether, but we need diamonds, so we need to go back down. We got a little more time this lunch, let's go down. And, should I? Should I just jump? Here we go. <laughs> All right. I have a feeling no matter which way we go, we're going to hit. Well, if we go that way, we're still going to hit that cavern probably that way too. So let's go this way. Although that kind of indicates we're going to hit that cavern over there too. This lines up, so we'll go this way. And I'll come back as soon as we have something to talk about. Well, I guess we have something to talk about now, so I'm back. <laughs> um, so I broke into probably still connected to the same thing. I can see the skeleton up there. I don't really want to deal with him right now. Probably connected to the same area. Just a different side of it, different uh, angle to it. But I still want to explore it a little bit as far as I can without feeling scared, which I already am, I guess. So I guess I'm already scared. <laughs> Guess I should already stop. Uh, what do we got? Something up here too. Okay, zombie. Hello, zombie. How are you? And more of you. Good. Is that an indication of a potential spawner? Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I will go pick up my bucket in a moment. <laughs> I think I instinctively went to where my sword normally is, which is the first slot, which I currently have water in. So I think that's what went on there. But I'm not at a sword point yet. I usually don't make a sword until I can make a diamond sword. I don't bother. Okay. There's some water up here, so this one's nice. Yeah, like I said, I don't need these, but I'll take them if they're here. Creeper. Oh. I just get nervous, you know. I have to turn around every once in a while. Okay, so it's fine up here. Nothing unusual, nothing hidden. Some more lapis. That's great. Oh, I knocked a, a torch down when the water came down here. Oh, wow, all the way down to here I knocked down torches. Okay. Pretty far. All right. Get this lapis. Uh, I didn't need to hit that, but that's okay. Throw a torch up here. All right. I'm going to throw one there just because I'm paranoid. I move that one there. Oh, that guy? Oh, no, no. That's... An Enderman. I thought he had a magic bow for a split second because the Enderman's eyes were matching up right where he was. A lot of iron in here. If I needed iron, this would be a wonderful place to be. I think I'm going to risk that skeleton, engaging that skeleton. Try, oh, okay. There he is. Got him. Oh, okay. They're hitting each other. Cool. Got to make a point not to accidentally look at the Enderman, because that will not be fun. Okay. Go on over here, sir. The Enderman's in there, right? No, no, look down. I don't want... Hitting, seeing that Enderman would be a sure way to end this... Hardcore real, real fast. Okay. Anything down here? No. Cool. So I've lit this up in a safe way too. So this is a safe area to be in. Nothing should spawn in here. Throw one there just for good, <laughs> just for safe measure. Uh, doesn't seem to be any other hidden areas. I'll go ahead and grab the lapis while I'm here. But I think, you know, let's take this back because I need to go make more torches. 
So I came in. Now I need to find out where I came in. There's the hard part, right? It should be really obvious, and you guys know, because you could look back. You probably remember. You have a much better memory than me. I'm old. I don't have a great memory. Oh, right there. Oh, I dug down right there. What do you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Not hard at all. I'm going to go make some more torchies and uh, prepare for another trip down. But, uh, but I think for now, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next lunchtime. See you. Bye. It's weird.